A few days ago, news broke out that the Nigerian Senate was deliberating on making it legal for underage children to get married. At first, it seemed like a silly joke. But after I saw the videos and read the reports, especially on Senator Yorema, I was furious. I cannot believe that such a barbaric and extremely degrading issue will be discussed by the Senate in a country like Nigeria that is described as the giant of Africa. Of all the issues facing this country, corruption, energy, unemployment, infrastructural deficiency, health, education, security, our senators have decided to waste taxpayers' money by sitting down to discuss on how to enable these shameless, randy old men to marry underage children legally. I cannot believe that a senator of Nigeria will push for child slavery to be made legal. I have read and I have studied all the stupid reasons that Senator Yorima and his colleagues have tabled. I will not even waste my time discussing it. No one should make this an Islamic issue. They should not take us all for fools. Now, I have absolutely nothing against Islam. In fact, I am a firm believer that every Nigerian has the liberty to practice whatever religion they like freely. But these shameless senators should not make Nigeria a Sharia state. Nigeria is not an Islamic country. Do not impose the evil desires of your heart on an entire nation using religion as a cover. There are no distinctions between child marriage and slavery. If anything, child marriage is worse. How can you subject a 13-year-old child to that kind of life? A child who's yet to figure out her bearing in life. A child with hopes and dreams. A child that has a right to freedom, a right to education. Has Nigeria suddenly run out of mature girls who are fully developed and ripe enough for marriage that our shameless senators would actually resort to cradle snatching? Are there no women in the Senate? Where are all the so-called women in power? Are you all going to sit there and watch them do this to our children? Oh, wait a minute. Where's the first lady of Nigeria, Patience Jonathan? Why haven't we heard your voice? You derive pleasure in lending your voice to issues that do not concern you, but this issue is right under you and we're expecting to hear your voice because after all, you are the mother of the nation, mother of Nigeria. What is going on? Madam, if you do not get up and put a stop to this madness, then I'm really sorry, but shame. And shame on all the 35 senators who have voted to support this bill. You are all nothing but pedophiles who deserve to be rounded up and sent for psychiatric evaluation. I do not care what they have to say. I do not care about their reasons. These are all madmen who derive pleasure in having sexual relationships with children. And now they want to insult us more by making it legal. This is a violation of children's rights. Every child has a right to live and live free. Every child has a right to be educated and not subjected to slavery. If this is allowed to happen, then I wonder why Nigeria struggles so hard to gain their independence from the white man when our lawmakers are struggling to legalize slavery. Nigeria is supposed to be progressing, but at this rate, this nation will come to a sudden destruction if we don't act now. Where are all the celebrities who travel around the world promoting themselves? Now is the time for you to lend your voice without fear. I am not afraid to stand for what I believe in. For some other people, you have a choice. You can choose to sit behind your computers and post comments insulting or criticizing me. I really don't care because you know what? Your comments, they do not move a grain of sand. Or you can choose to use your time, your energy, social media, everything you have access to, to join us in this fight and stop the shameless men in the Senate from legalizing their sinful and shameful acts. Do not let them destroy our babies. Do not let them desecrate our babies. Think of the underdeveloped organs in the bodies of these children. Don't let them do this to us. I am Stella Damasus. I stand for what is right. I stand for what I believe in. I have a right to speak my mind. I have a right to fight for my children. I have a right to fight for every Nigerian child. And so do you. The time to act is now.